Favourite Air Max is, it has to be the original colourway of the Air Max 90, the infrared as it's uh, colloquially known. Uh, this shoe here, this is my favourite shoe, Air Max of all time. I wore it on the cover of my debut album and that just kind of cements its reputation as my favourite shoe because, you know what I mean, that, that's, that's your debut album, that's the album that takes your whole life to write and I wanted it to, uh, even the artwork, to represent you know, some of the sort of biggest influences on my life. I've been buying sneakers, obviously, since I was maybe 15, but properly collecting them, I'd say about 10 years now, yeah. I now own just over, between 700 and 750 pairs. Air Max definitely are more important than anything. They, they make up, the, you know, the foundation of my collection. If it wasn't for them, um, then I probably wouldn't have started collecting anyway. If you think of American hip hop, and you think of the sneaker, you think Air Force One, Clean white Air Force Ones. UK hip hop has got su such a distinctive identity. I think of UK hip hop, I think of like, you know, people like Task Force, Skinny Man. I think of 95s, I think of Air Max Ones, I think of Air Max 90s, do you know what I mean? My most frequently worn Air Max, are, you know, the gold perforated opening ceremony Air Max. Gold shoes, mate, go figure. But it's probably them. They look really good when you just went all black. I should stop wearing them, man. I really should. I even cycled them like an idiot one time and they got like scratches up the toe box and yeah, <clears throat> let's not talk about it. How can you not like the shape of that? I defy anyone to tell me they don't like the shape of, of the classic models of Air Max. It's just the shape, it's, the, it's a beautiful shoe. They're all beautiful shoes.